So this year I'm trying out the Sekes, I think that's how you pronounce it, bullet journal since at least according to the reviews it's great quality for the price and it has extra thick pages and I'm also using this tree of life vintage style journal and my notion of course which are all connected by one theme this year so the theme for this year is fairy tale-esque so I'm pretty much going to be mixing pastels and some touches of vintage style flowers and designs and also by the way some of the things in this video I got for Christmas so this is also I guess in some ways a little mini what I got for Christmas so for the name page I used a pastel purple Copic marker and a metallic silver marker for the outline and then stencils and these really cute pearl sticker strips to add kind of fancy fairy tale kind of princess core I guess effect and then I made some little mini stencil flowers and by the way if you're like me and you're not very good at drawing or doodling they save so much time and you can create so many different patterns and designs with just a few stencils. I recommend 10 out of 10 stencils to anyone who wants to make their journal more fancy, but in an easy way. Then over here, I decided to make a quote page. So I wanted to make the background look a bit like a pastel diamond pattern. So as you can see here, I'm using Distressed Ink, which I discovered on Instagram and am now obsessed with. It's a great alternative to painting since they're very chalky and you don't need any water and it's just really easy to blend and use. I unfortunately messed up a little bit with the green one though because it randomly ended up being thicker than the other three. I'm not sure why. So it leaked a little bit. So I ended up fixing the little mistakes by just outlining all of the shapes with a metallic marker. And then I try to make glue glitter words, but they didn't come out strong enough against the background. So I wrote out the words on a separate piece of paper instead and then glued them in on top of the mistake. And then I just used these word stickers that I got to write out, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. I've been waiting for 2022 since red first came out especially since I'm also turning 22 this year. And then this page is just the key for all the monthly spreads. The purpose of this bullet journal in general is just to keep track of my memories and gratitude logs and monthly summaries of my habits. So for the background, I used a spread from a junk journal digital package. So I learned more about junk journaling from Mystical Misty who won one of the sets from the last giveaway that I hosted. So that's how I discovered junk journaling. And then that led me to find Etsy shops that sell a bunch of junk journal digital packages that I think are insanely amazing. Most of them are only for a couple of dollars. Once you have them, you just print them out and put them in your bullet journals or junk journals. It really helps also because I like using pages and other papers to cover up any pages that bled through. So it's really So I'll be filling out the titles of the books in the magic library with all the books that I read this year. And then here I'm making a, like a zoomed in version of one of the shelves. My favorite book of the year, best, worst, and most memorable. And of course the best book of the year will be Estella in 2022, which is the name of a mini book that I'm making within my bullet journal. So the rest of the spread is inside my Estella in 2022 fantasy book. So I'll be showing you guys how I made that. But before we do that, I will show you really quickly a little bit of what my notion setup for the year looks like. And it's also fantasy themed and I think it turned out really cool. So I very much feel like this is a setup that I feel like finally encompasses everything that works for me. So I decided to make my notion setup be called 
Honeysuckle Cottage, somewhat named after Miss Honey from Matilda and her cottage in the woods, which I was obsessed with as a kid and still am obsessed with. So I had a lot of fun doing this. This is a template, so you can use this and convert it and change it how you would like. But yeah, so basically there's different rooms for each area of my life. So over here is my garden, which I kind of consider everything that's outside of your life and just kind of external, if that makes sense. Calendar, for instance instance that's where you have all your external deadlines and then you have the new year's planning agenda which is you know all the stuff that you want to do during the year 2022 and and all the outside things going on like birthdays you know special events etc So back to the bullet journal. So I decided to base the cover of the Estella in 2022 book off of the classic literature vintage style covers like this one. And I decided on the title for the book to be Estella in 22 because it's kind of based on Alice in Wonderland, if that makes sense. And for a split second, I actually thought the title sounded a bit narcissistic, but then I realized that this isn't an actual book. This is a private journal and it's fine. But yeah, so I got the idea to include a map in the inner cover and on the first page of the book from the book I read last year, The Alchemist, and lots of fantasy books also have maps, so I just thought it was a really cool idea. So it ended up having a map, which was perfect, and I just oriented it so it kind of looked like our neighborhood lake, and then wrote down some of the place names that you might be familiar with if you watch my videos a lot. And I also love how the metallic pen ink kind of disappears depending on how you hold it in the light. I don't know, I think it just gives it like a really magical feel. And I also added this due date card from one of the junk journal sets to make it look like an actual library book and then I had fun filling in the dates. And then next up, since this is a book after all, we have the copyright disclaimer page, which I did a parody of. My favorite part was the disclaimer, which you can see here. Um, I kind of played off the words of the typical disclaimers in books. And I also used the sparkle emoji that I always use for every single title of my videos, since it's my most used emoji and I just thought it fit the style. And then I made a second book title page, again with a stencil outline, since all the books that I know of have internal title pages as well. And then here we have a dedicated two page. I just dedicated it to 2022 since this bullet journal is literally going to be dedicated in about 2022. And then the contents page with the chapters, I just used some stamps. This is my first time using stamps, by the way, so I kind of messed up if you guys saw on the key page because I forgot that I had put pearls on the first page and I didn't realize that, yeah, if you're gonna be putting stamps, you kind of need it to be flat so that it doesn't get messed up and the edges don't show up. So lesson learned. So chapter one will be six photos of the best moments of 2022. And by the way, the Copic markers do bleed through the pages, but the mild liners, Tombows, pens, metallic markers don't, which is great. And then the brown boxes here will include a brief description and date of what's in the pictures in the pastel boxes. So then here I decided to have habit progress pages. So basically at the end of the year, I'll write a report on which habits based on like my notion and monthly setups. So which habits improved or didn't and what worked and what didn't work for me. And so this spread was also from a junk journal set and I purposely chose one that had a fairy in it since I relate habits to the productivity fairy.
So here's the birthday page. At first I thought of doing a traditional spread with balloons for each birthday, cause that's pretty common. But then I thought, why not do clouds? Since that just fits the pastel fairy tale theme more. And I found this picture from Instagram that used Tombows for watercolors. So I outlined clouds in the metallic pen and then I used my water brush to make Tombow and Crayola super tip watercolor clouds. I actually messed up once with one of the super tips that was a bit old and didn't really match, but I covered the mistake by pretending it was a string for balloons, which I think actually made the whole spread look cooler and more birthday related. So now we have the school and classes page, which are from a wizard Harry Potter inspired Blah, blah, blah. I can't speak, which are from a wizard Harry Potter inspired junk journal set and I thought fit the theme of school. So here I'll just list the classes I took in 2022, my grades, my review of the classes from one to five stars, and updates on my master's and graduation plans. So this chapter is about YouTube. It'll just be a list of all the videos that I upload to Study to Success on my second channel this year. And if I reach any milestones, I'll also list them here as well. I use this really cute dragonfly cutout setup from a junk journal set. I keep saying from a junk journal set, but yeah, I mean, at this point, hopefully you guys get that. That I thought really matched the dragonfly on the journal cover perfectly, so it worked out really well. And these pages are my 2022 entertainment review. So just best books, best movies, best TV shows. And then finally, the last page is my overall review of 2022 as a year. Honestly, as long as my family and I are healthy and safe, I consider the year a great year and then everything else is just a bonus. And then there's the back cover. So the inner back cover page is also, again, from the kind of thicker vintage paper and then I also covered it in stencil designs. So the front cover, the title cover, the Stella in 2022, and then the back cover are actually bigger than the inner book pages, if you guys can tell. And then the table, it's just like the cottage core table, the library table that I would be reading this book on. And then also I have in this section, just my planner which I use all the time on Notion, which is just where you have to-do lists and basically what you're supposed to do each day of the week. So then we have my kitchen, which is where I'm gonna have all my different recipes and also just different meal planning things. I, my mom and I have made, as everyone does, a new year's resolution to be more healthy this year. And we're already pretty healthy, but we don't cook that often. We primarily sustaining ourselves on frozen frozen foods, not bad frozen foods, but Trader Joe's frozen foods are a staple in our family. And we're kind of trying to change that and just cook more. And so then for the living room, I didn't really know what to put in the living room, but I just decided to put my university to be there. So I'm gonna be having a pretty intense next couple of years since I decided that I'm going to be pursuing a master's at my university and kind of doing a combination degree with my undergrad and master's since they have that option. So, so this page is going to help me survive this next couple of years and keep my classes organized and all my homework and deadlines and everything to not drown. So as you can see here, Notion is my main planning tool. It's where the majority of my organization and life stuff is written out. And the cool thing about it is, as you guys can see, it's extremely customizable. So it's very easy to copy paste things, to edit the format of different sections if you want to. You can mess around with my template and change it as much as you want to, to fit your needs. So Hopefully this template will be useful for you for planning the new year and also just your life in general in 2022. Yeah, that's my Notion tour for 2022. I hope you enjoyed it and let's get back to the rest of the tour of my other journals.
over here is the tree of life journal which is my creative journal for the year and it's really simple it's just divided into four parts winter spring summer and fall and winter is for my ideas for intros and mini skits within my study to success videos that i usually do spring is for my skit ideas for my second channel and the last two sections are for my book that i'm going to start writing this year you guys really inflated my ego and actually gave me the idea to even write a book because i honestly was never considering it when i was a kid i always liked writing just for fun but i never i never did anything with that and i was never planning to do anything with that but then you guys kept complimenting my super obnoxiously long community posts and really inflated my non-existent author ego so jokes aside um i just thought it would be a fun idea to try writing a book it'll probably take me like a decade knowing the pace at which i work but i have a rough outline to it so i just thought it would be fun to try and so that's what half of this journals for since i constantly randomly have stuff pop up in my head in the middle of the day and then i need to write them down somewhere so instead of my phone i'll be putting them in this journal so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know that the journals are definitely not perfect and they're not the most professional looking i'm honestly very much not an artist if you couldn't tell i make lots of mistakes also but i had a great time making the journals and i think that they kind of really fit me in the very random eclectic way that they're set up so i hope that this video gave you some ideas for your journal or was just at least entertaining to watch and yeah i'm wishing you all a great 2022 and thanks so much for watching i got a gift for you i got a gift for you you got a gift for me it's for oh oh there it goes what you doing I'm trying to put your pen inside. You're trying to, you mean right the, here. Okay. What? Here. You're going to put the train in? Yeah, I was trying to put it okay. in. And now I'll put these pens back. Thank you so much. Look, here's your train here. Thank you. And I will get another gift. Wow. Okay. Shoo. 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 Leave. Ah. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> okay. Go away, you fly. You're distracting me. Goodness. Goodness gracious. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. You that I think you want to be alright. Estella, you're supposed to be filming, not singing, so shut it.